Uh, we've had this gentleman on the air before. It's fascinating stuff. And, and the reason I say fascinating is because I don't think people understand what it takes. You understand what it takes to get a mortgage loan. Yeah. You understand what it takes to get a credit card. Oh, yeah. You understand what it takes to get a car loan. Pretty easy. But if you had Russ's tequila factory, right. you couldn't really go to the bank. They're not going right. to give you money. Correct. So where would you go? They know. You have no... <laughs> They, they see me coming. They know. I have, uh, you yeah. Know. And mom's tapped, so uh, there's no source of now cash private, there. Now, private companies go to venture capital, private equity groups, mom yeah. and pops, angel investors. Where do public companies go for money? I have no idea. Because they can't go to the public unless they do a secondary offering. But what they can do is a vipe. You know what a vipe is? It's for smoking. Uh, no. Well, that's a vape. Yeah. I'm sorry. My bad. Venture investment into, private, in, in, into, uh, into public equities. And uh, Ryan Hodson is here. Oh, good. With Kodiak. Capital, and he's here to talk about that. Ryan, you're in the game of fi financing public companies. Absolutely. That's a and, and that's a whole. That's such a segmented group of financing because you don't think nobody thinks a public company needs money, but they all do. Every one of them. Well, okay. they're supposed to be making money, and why would they need to borrow? It would be my well you know. for a number of reasons, right? Acquisition, or they want to increase uh, you know bigger yo-yos or whatever. They want to buy equipment. Well, and there's a million reasons, right? Yeah. General working capital. Yeah, just just because they're making money, by the way, doesn't mean that they are profitable. Isn't that one of the issues? Many of them aren't. Yeah. I mean, and that's actually the reason why they need to raise money because they're burning through cash left and right. Oh, and there yeah. uh, aren't too many options. Like you said, once you tap out your parents, yeah. Yeah. where do you go? Talk to us what, what Kodiak does. Kodiak is a venture investment. You're not a venture capital firm, though, are you? Well, we're a venture capital firm in the sense that we invest in early stage public companies, which to many sounds like an oxymoron. You know, it's, well, it's a venture stage, but it's public, right? right? But there's many public companies out there that have small market caps under 100 million that are in need for capital on a daily basis. And there's very few funds out there willing to take that risk. <laughs> so, so, so you folks take the risk of, of putting money into a um, it's not a startup, but it's a startup public company, so to speak. Right. In other words, someone who just went public. These companies have had a hard time raising capital in the private markets and go to the public markets for capital formation, for mm -hmm. like you said, raising capital for acquisitions, yeah. or perhaps just using that stock as a currency to make acquisitions right. in the future. Mm. Talk about, um, talk about um, uh, when, you're, when you're dealing with sectors. I've said on the air here a number of times, Russ is gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Cybersecurity is a hot sector. Cannabis is a hot sector for investing. Now, as a as a as a money guy in the public markets, am I am I telling the truth there? Absolutely. We're a sector agnostic firm, though. Over the last three years, we've been very active in the cannabis industry. About three years ago, when all these cannabis companies came on the public scene, yeah. it was a big trend. But over the last couple of years, the commission and the FINRA has done a good job of stabilizing that. Got yeah. rid of the bad guys, or you know. Well, it was so. like the dot com. There were so many, and then the strong survived after that initial right. rush. A lot, lot of disruptive technologies. How how does now? How do you? Because first of all, we, we have a sponsor of the program that, that that is that's a cannabis company. We also have covered a number of these things. Russ even has a new television show out called Live High Live about cannabis companies. What is uh, what's the rub for an investor? Because obviously, you have to figure out how long, how far out you're going to be strung along. Hmm. When you're dealing with the federal law versus the state laws, okay, so these guys are making money hand over fist in those states that are that are uh, that they're legal. But you got this federal thing. Are you worried that the hammer is going to come down and then all of a sudden you lose your investment at some point? Oh. You got that, Russ? Is that okay? Got <laughs> your, you your avocado? Oh. <laughs> got your thing? Shut up. <laughs> the majority of our cannabis portfolio consists of hands off companies. We're not looking to go and get involved in a lot of dispensaries and a lot of grow ups. We right. do have a few that we're currently considering right now, mm -hmm. but the majority of our portfolio consists of technology, seed to sale tracking software, and um, we've got a great company that we just uh, put a few dollars into that uh, tests the 200 different characteristics of right. each strain of uh, cannabis. And ultimately from that strain, they're adapting a social media platform where you can go on there and you can review each strain you can see what Levels of each characteristic it consists of. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Dial it into you know your what uh, you tired. Do you need to wake up? You want to watch a silly movie? Do you like this kind of wine with it? There's so many ways yeah. to go. And those companies that are starting up, uh, actually, some of their product they can distribute nationally without breaking a law with certain levels that they bring out of the plant. The right. THC level, CBD level, things like it, that. And on a life science uh, standpoint, you know, you have yeah. local company GW Pharma that just got FDA approval for one of the CBD drugs That's a couple of weeks San Diego? ago. They're up in, uh, in Irvine. Irvine, so, so the rest of the country, if you're watching us in New York City, if you're watching us in Atlanta, there are about 
45 miles away from San Diego. Okay. The, um, um, the interesting part about this thing is, as an investment sector, um, you're not the only companies, you're not the only investment firms investing. I, I see that you have a couple of other, um, I don't want to call them partner investors, but you've syndicated a couple of deals with some other bigger investors as well. So this is, this is becoming a, the norm, right? It is, uh, and this is just the beginning. Uh, like I said, three years ago, everybody was going after it. A lot of people got burned, a lot of funds got burned. Uh, a lot strong, of things got burned in that industry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. How are we doing? Strong survived. <laughs> and uh, there's a handful of companies out there right now focused on the public markets, right? Yeah. There's many VCs that are looking at private companies, but a lot of them don't understand the public markets, and that's really our niche. So before we let you out here today, I just want to talk about, about outside of that industry. Are there any other sectors that you like right now? Because obviously, you're sort of the tip of the spear. You're like an open air indicator. And what that means is, is that you know, if, if, you know, if there's a hurricane, you buy stock in Home Depot because right. people are gonna buy nails and two by fours. Uh, if we can see what you guys are investing in, it's almost like seeing what the cutting edge stuff is going out there. Well, are there any other sectors that you like? Absolutely. Uh, we try to stay ahead of the trend. You know, cannabis was a trend, we're well ahead of that game. And um, juicing, for instance, we were looking at a lot of juice companies, Suja. Suja, sure. Suja, right, another local company right. here in San Diego that yeah. took off that just signed a deal with Pepsi. Um, right. And right now, drones, drone technology. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there aren't a lot of them. What about cybersecurity? Because is that, is that, I mean, is it just such a big sector? We don't even know what the sector's gonna be yet. Because I kind of feel like cybersecurity is everyone from what's going on with Apple and the, and the, uh, and the FBI to, uh, to protecting your phone with a fingerprint ID to mm -hmm. getting your credit card stolen. I mean, it's kind of everything. And then there's also the corporate espionage type stuff that goes on. Yeah. Is the space just too big to define it, right it's, now? Or? It's very fragmented at the moment. Uh, we have taken a look at it. We haven't found any low hanging fruits yet, yeah. but uh, I would agree that it is a uh, it is a hot topic. I want to get you back, Ryan Hodson. But see, isn't that inside yeah. poop? That's good to the have that Inside stuff yeah. on how these companies are, are, are done. Ryan, thank you so much. What's your guys' website if you want to know about you? Kodiakfunds.com. Kodiakfunds.com. We'll tweet that out to our 40,000. We'll put the... Uh, We'll put that out to uh, to all of our folks, and you'll be able to you'll be able to have you'll see Ryan here. He's going to come back a number of times here because I want to talk about. I, I mean, it's it's interesting to sort of hear what a uh, what a publicly traded company does to get money. Well, that and what the ne bro. next and the, hot and, and sector the, is. And, the, and, the, and think about this: if if you can get if you can figure out what the sector is that they're you know, like you just said, can you imagine? We can have it like a game show. You could like put a couple hints out, and I go, "Oh, is it pick my juicing? Sec pick my sector." <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Pick Appreciate my that. sector. The news is next. Ouch. It is Biz Brew, YouTube America, YouTubeAmerica.com. Bye. Baby girl likes cinnamon, hot for the skinnies, and oops makes.